Hello, welcome to another episode of Memories of Mars. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to gain flops. Now, the be all end all on survival games is unfortunately grinding, but let's talk about how to make that grinding a lot easier. There is a system that you can put in place for gaining flops a lot quicker. Now, playing a lot of survival games the first thing I normally do on survival games is a tip I will share with you and it's a simple tip the first thing I will do is I will have a look at the skill trees the skill trees, the inventories, the spell books whatever you want to call them and I will look at the spells go through them all if it's a tree and there's ways of working through the tree to a specific spell that you want that is what you want to do you want to use your flops wisely. Don't go buying everything you can, just like on this game, to upgrade your survival tree. What you want to do, the system is build minimal building uh, pieces. So you want foundation, one foundation, one ceiling, one wall, one door, one window, one sport, one stairs, that's the bare minimum. On this game, you want all of the devices. You don't need them all straight away. Just get the essentials. So you're going to want your 3D printer, your chemical processor, the biggest storage, storage contain, container you can get. You definitely need your administration terminal and your cloning chamber and your scrap grinder. As I say, when you're going through getting all your flops, pick up everything you come across and save it because you will need it for running the game so back to the skill tree you want to the first thing you are going to want to do to get more flops quicker is upgrade your weapon pick a weapon that you want whether it be small arms pointman assault close quarters or marksman I went with assault and work your way through grab your ammo, grab your weapon once you've got your weapon you're going to beeline straight for your next weapon once you've unlocked that weapon you're going to make it your one and only goal to find the schematic for the weapon that you want to unlock the tier 3 weapon save your flops while you, as soon as you get your second weapon because by this time you're going to have a base set up um, you're going to have everything you need in that base so you're not going to need anything else. Ignore your attachments. You're going to want to focus on your tier 3 weapon. The sooner you get your tier 3 weapon, the faster you will be able to make flops. So let me explain. So, as you start in the starting areas, which are the green ones, around these areas are going to be starting points, out point, uh, outpost scaffold, Outpost Corain and Outpost Cheviot. You're going to want to go to these locations, kill as many monsters as you can, mobs, bionic spiders, whatever you want to call them. Save your flops, work your way through your skill tree for your weapon, and then once you've done this, it should be rather fast, and also at the same time, you want to be mining as you're mining you will gain flops the same applies as you're going through your mm -mm -mm, where is it tooling as soon as you get this which was gifted Pulse Excavator Mark 2 this gains a lot of flops when you mine so mine as much as you can, save your flops, work your way to the T3 weapons and then you can advance to higher grade areas harder enemies north uh, desert retreat in the desert retreat on this platform there is a robot that looks like a miniature tank he will fire rockets at you if you kill him he gives you over 600 flops per kill and he respawns every 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes build yourself a little outpost here respawn respawn the outpost in case you die kill him chill out for a bit come back kill him again chill out for a bit, uh, bit. come back kill him again and also all the other spiders that are around here each time you go to this area you're going to gain 1500 to 2000 flops 
so that be all end all and the system of the game is to go for a higher tier weapon as quickly as possible. The harder enemies you kill the more rewards you'll get the more flops. Uh, once you start getting your higher t uh, uh, more flops from the higher tier enemies then you can start going back through whatever whatever else you think you need. Uh, the world is your oyster basically. What I, what I did was I went for all the main things that I thought I'd need and when I had a, quite a bit of flops I was just buying like random expensive things just to build up my survivalist tree so I could get the uh, the exosuit components and that's what I'm still working towards now uh, I do apologize for not uploading yesterday um, I was working I was working today but I'm off tomorrow so I don't have to go to bed as early because uh, it's all good the wife's let me come on today <laughs> So uh, yeah, I hope this uh, little guy has helped you. I know it's I know it's not what you want to hear. Um, there's no secret trick to getting flops yet. If I do find a secret way to get flops, I will let you know. Um, the other thing, just before I forget, every time you come on, press start and have a look for your gifts. See where it says claim gifts. The last gift they sent us was 6,000 flops and lots of deuterium and power cores. Uh, this was one of the ways I could make the exosuit gear otherwise it would have been a lot of grinding for deuterium um, I'm not a big fan of uh, games giving out stuff like end, gear, end game stuff because it just takes away the fun of the game really um, yeah someone's shooting at my base for some weird reason let's go and have a look but yeah as, as I say just uh, Stick with it. Who are you? What do you want? Yeah, stick with it. Keep away, keep grinding away, and uh, work towards the weapon that you want. Uh, the quicker you get the weapon you want, you can then then start getting the ammo you need. The higher tier ammo, the more damage you'll do. And uh, hey, presto, you'll start making flops before you know it. Hope this guide helps, and I'll uh, see you on the next one.